Rawr! Welcome back to another episode of Yomi's Wheel of Shenanigans, where I spin the Wheel of Haas and find out what Steam game I'm going to be playing. And this week, we're going to spin against all of Steam's indie games, and include their free games. So let's see what we shall be playing this week. Morai. I don't know what that game is. It looks funny. It's a little pixelated. Townsfolk tell you that a woman named Julia has gone missing. You venture out into the cave just beyond the village looking for her. You're given a knife to protect yourself. What you find there may surprise you. Morai is an experimental first person game created by Chris Johnson, Brad Barrett, and John Oistman. All right, so I am going to go to Steam and find this game and install it. And we will find out what Morai is. All right, we are back with Morai. It's a, it's a free game on Steam, and it only took up like 14 megabytes. And... They say it's a short little story. Uh, it was classified under horror, though. So we shall see. I, I like the, the harmonic on it. I don't know. Probably WASD to move. All right. Hi. Talk to priest. Our, my prayers go out to you, poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all day. Imagine she's grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? It's the house to the right as you leave town. All right, let's see what little Billy says. Need to stay close to Mama, otherwise she'll worry that we've run off. Hi. I heard there's gold in the cave. Too scared to enter. Say there's a little boy that haunts over your shoulder. So you just use the WASD in the space bar in this. Uh, there's no uh, looking around with the mouse or anything like that. To hear about the boy, Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I never let my boys out of my sight. Enter cabin. My uncle and dad are out chopping wood to keep us warm in the winter. They should be home soon. <laughs> That's cute. The beds are on the the uh, walls. What does she have to say? Sometime daddy lets us pat the sheep on the head. They're so soft. Look at the bookshelf. Wait, there's a picture on the shelf of a wife, husband, and a young boy. I wonder where they are. So, I think this is Julia's house. As I go out of the... To the farm. Oh, one more house. Hi, mister. Looks like a lovely day outside. You should head out to the town if you get the chance. Spend some time with the animals. That's chef. All right, let's uh, go out here. Go to the farm. <laughs> Poke sheep. <laughs> nice. Open barn door. It's locked. Oh well. Alright, oh, I'm in the pen. I've got to follow this around. That was fun. Oh, what's this guy have to say? Read signpost. To the cave. My brother and I were chopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on that stump. Picked up lantern on the stump. Nice. All right. Oh, look at my hand. Okay, let's go to the cave. Hey, you. Come over here. 
Did my brother send you? Bless him. The moans are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my sight's no good. You should take this knife. Who knows? You may need it. So, can I attack with it? Oh, crap. Oh, I hit F. <laughs> don't hit F. Talk to brother. I don't know if I could do anything with the knife, though. I don't know how to use it. So I just explore the cave. Do do. Oh. As I walk, I can kind of hear like heartbeats or something. What is this? Look at tools. There's some tools leaning against the wall. Looks as though they've been used to mark carvings on the wall. Ooh, lots of, like, tick marks. There's a book on top of the pedestal. It's labeled Farmers. There's a list of names inside. First letter, S.D. Brandon. I killed them. How eerie. Can't do anything with the rat. I can't even look down. All right. I can also use the... You can use the WASD keys as well as the arrow keys to move. Alright, let's uh, figure our way back into the cave more. I hear, oh, whoa! What is this? A farmer approaches. Why do you have bloods? Why do you have a knife? I heard moans. What have you done? Why do you have blood on? If there was a murderer, I had to defend myself. Uh, then why do you have a knife? The guy outside gave me a knife. He gave me a knife too. I heard moans. What have you done? There's an injured woman. She wanted me to kill her, but I didn't. Um... Let him pass? Alright, I'll let you go. Okay, I let that guy go. I can't just kill him. I don't know why I didn't say come in farther with me. Okay, I hear some moaning. Oh, there's the woman. It doesn't look like there's any more to the cave. Ah, please help me. I'm in a lot of pain. I came here to end my life. My name is Julia. I wanted to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold. Then one day, he found something. He found a golden nugget. I thought we could retire and become, be comfortable for the rest of our lives. But he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget to spite me. Then he disappeared. Everyone in town heard about our good fortune. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. That he buried it? That's, I don't, okay. One day, my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. But he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Oh, I have nobody. Will you help me? Will you help me in my end my life? Uh, I'll go get help. Then leave me, you coward! The woman spurts blood at you. Okay. Let's see, where do I go? Oh, hi, mister. I got a knife and a lamp just like you, and I'm all bloody. A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Um, 
there was a lady that tried to kill herself. And she spit it on me. Period. Why do you have a knife? <laughs> the man in front of the cave gave it to me. I heard moans. What have you done? The lady. Right. Julia wanted me to kill her, but I didn't. She got mad and spit on me. Let me see what will happen to you. And that is where the story shall end, at least for now. It is up to the next player of this game to choose your fate. Just as you chose the fate of the previous player. Enter your first name. Enter your email address. You'll be emailed about your fate. Thank you for playing. Press space to submit your details. <laughs> that was an odd little game, but interesting. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I guess I'll be emailed if the next person that plays kills me or not. Uh, I left the lady alive. I wonder what would have happened if I would have uh, killed her. But... Uh, yeah, that is odd. He left her alive. So I, I wonder if the next person, if I would have killed her, they would have came in and she would have already been dead. And they would have been like, oh, I let the murderer go. That is, it's, it is kind of a neat little game. But uh, yeah, that was Morai. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. And let me know what you thought of Morai in the comments below. Uh, in the description, when I upload this game, if I have gotten, well, it'll give it away if I give it in the description. Oh, I'm confused at what I should do. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what you think. I'll probably, if, if you guys want to know if I was killed or spared, let me know in the comments and then I'll uh, post it in the comments as well if I was... Uh, Spare or kill, I'll reply and let you guys know. Anyway, uh, thanks again for watching, and have an awesome day. Take care. Bye.